Today, I'm going to talk to you about using templates. And I print my templates from the Brilliance Essential software. And it's very important to use templates if you want to have your embroidery placed in exact location. And it's the easiest way that I can find to make sure that it it does on any machine that I use. For example, I have a little monogram here in an exact corner that I want to make sure it's square and that it's exactly where I want to place it. I also had done a project here with my sewing scissors and I have another monogram that I wanted to make sure was in the exact same exact proper location. If you don't use a template, it's, it's very hard to guess. Now when I print my template, it's printed on um, from the software and I have my little L monogram and I've added a basting box. So I will take this and I will trim it out. Now one, I, you can print them on paper, that's perfectly fine. If you're going to be using the same template over and over again, this is a paper template and this is a vellum template. So this you can get at the stationery store and it's like a plasticky type paper. So it can be reused over and over again, which is great if you're doing uh, some sort of, of project that is going to be repeated like towels or uh, logos on a shirt for a team or something. It's easier to um, not have to print 50 templates and just use the same one over and over again. So I'm just trimming out my template here with my scissors. This this size. And I have an exact copy of my embroidery on paper that I can place on my fabric to get placement. Now many people say that they want to use the lines in a draw line on the hoop and they match up the lines with the little notches. And I'm going to show you why that doesn't work. If you take your hoop grid and this is the little template that comes with the hoop and you place that in the hoop as so, in the notches lined up. I printed, drew that with a red marker so that you could see it. And here is my template in my hoop. And can you see that the horizontal line does not match up with the grid? It's off by almost a quarter of an inch. Your machine is always going to start in the center. So if you're always lining up with the notches, then you're always going to be a quarter of an inch off. And if you line up with the notches and then guesstimate, um, if you don't have a printed template, you're not going to be accurate. But you can guesstimate and know, okay, I have to move it a quarter of an inch. But that's one more thing you have to remember. And I don't remember diddly squat at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm working on my stuff. So how do I get that template mark onto my fabric? First of all, I'm going to remove this stabilizer and put in a blank stabilizer. Um, for this type of project, I am using a wash away, tear away stabilizer. And of course, I'm marking with a red Sharpie marker so that I can actually see what I'm, or show you what I'm doing. And I would use a water soluble marker. But I have my stabilizer hooped all by itself. So it's a wash away, tear away. And I have my fabric here, and I'm going to place my embroidery template on it, keeping my seam allowances in mind. And I decided, let's make sure we go in the correct direction, what the design looks like. It's always handy. This is where I would like my embroidery design to be, right in that corner. So I have this marked, or I have this placed on my fabric and I want it to be square in that corner and I'm going to use my ruler that has the 45 degree angle on it so that I can actually be perfectly square in this corner. Place my template so that it's where it needs to be. And the more time you take with being accurate now, the easier it is at the machine. And again, I'm using my sharper marker. You would use a water soluble marker, but that's not going to show up. And I'm going to mark the X direction. And then I'm going to line up in the center here and mark my Y direction. 
so that I'm perfectly square in my corner. Connect my two lines, so I have my X. And you can see here that my, should have marked an arrow on, on my little template so I could see which way is the right direction. But this is exactly where my X is and that's where my embroidery design is going to go. So I'm going to take my hoop and on this machine it is going to, it attaches on the inside of the machine. That's where this hoop attaches. So I'm going to make an estimate. When I have my hoop grid in here, I know that this is going to be placed, my design is actually going to be rotated um, 90 degrees, but it's going, this is how much extra white space I have. So I'm going to use double stick tape and place double stick tape around the four margins here so that I can place my fabric and have it stick here. I have a basting box that's going to hold the fabric in place, but the double stick tape just kind of gives me an extra hand without doing anything um, crazy. And I'm doing it in the margins outside of where the embroidery is going to be stitching because you don't want your needle to go through this double stick tape. And it's just simple Scotch brand that I'm using. I'm going to put four pieces in. Okay. And I have my fabric that's marked here. And I'm going to um, make a, it doesn't have to be perfect where it's going because what's happening is I just want to make sure it's square in my hoop. That cross, as long as my needle starts at that cross position, it's going to stitch exactly where I, the design tells it to. So this design, if I just want to keep it as a, um, as a temp, as a guide, I can say, okay, I have all this extra space here. I, I have a space to move it closer to one direction or the other. Now, I have to remember that I want the excess fabric to be outside of my embroidery area. Place it in. And now I'm ready to go to the machine. So let me switch the camera and we'll go there. Okay, so I have my fabric with my template marked in my hoop and my hoop attaches to my machine. So I'm going to make sure my presser foot's lifted and I attach it to my machine. I'm going to load my design and I'm going to click set and go to my layout so that I know exactly where I'm going. Now this particular design is rotated 90 degrees. So I need to make sure I do that on my machine. Everyone's machine is different. Let's gotta go a couple times, so it's 90 degrees, so it's going this way. Every machine is different, so your layout screen may be different than this, but the goal or the, the need is the same. You need to get this needle into this location. So I'm going to use my arrows. Don't go and go too far and get my needle just so that it goes exactly in the center of my crosshair on my fabric because when it goes in the crosshair of the fabric that base that crosshair was created based upon this template and now when I stitch my design it's going to be exactly in this location. So once I have it set using my layout screen, I can hit start or hit end because I'm now ready to go and I can hit start on my machine. And I will end up with my monogrammed L right in the corner for my project exactly where I need it to be. Okay, we've done stitching. Use the presser foot, move the hoop and trim my threads. And we can see that exactly where we marked it, that's where it stitched it. Thanks for spending some time with us today. 
More information on this topic and others can be found in the Users Forum on our website. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.